welcome back to the compliance kitchen. I am looking at the uh, press release from the SEC. This is uh, from September 20th. And uh, it's interesting because it involves uh, crowdfunding. So the SEC charged crowdfunding portal issuer and related individuals for fraudulent offerings. The release tells us that uh, they were charged with a fraudulent scheme uh, to sell nearly $2 million of unregistered securities through two crowdfunding offerings. The SEC also charged the registered funding portal and its CEO who placed the offerings on the portal's platform. So according to the complaint, there were three individuals that were involved they conducted fraudulent and unregistered crowdfunding offerings through two cannabis and hemp companies transatlantic real estate llc and 420 real estate llc uh, one of the individuals robert shoemake with assistance from nicole birch and willard jackson those were the other two that were involved allegedly hid uh, shoemake's involvement in the offerings from the public uh, due to the concern that he had a prior criminal conviction and they were concerned that this could deter prospective investors. The SEC complaint alleges that uh, Shoemake and Birch raised over a million dollars from retail investors through transatlantic real estate and then Shoemake and Jackson raised 888000 or a little bit in excess of 888000 through 420 real estate. Now, Shoemake, Birch, and Jackson allegedly diverted the investor funds for personal use rather than using the funds for the purposes that were uh, disclosed to the investors. As alleged, uh, True Crowd Inc., which is a registered funding portal and its CEO, hosted the transatlantic real estate and also 420 real estate offerings on the platform and allegedly failed to address red flags uh, including uh, Robert Shoemake's criminal history and involvement in the crowdfunding offerings and otherwise failed to reduce the risk of fraud to investors. Gubir Garval, who is the director of the SEC's Division of Enforcement, tells us that crowdfunding offerings enable issuers to cast a wide net for potential investors, emphasizing the importance of full and honest disclosure. The SEC's complaint was filed in the U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of Michigan, and it charges uh, the three individuals and 420 real estate with violating the anti-fraud and registration provisions of the Securities Act of 1933 and Securities Exchange Act of 1934. And it seeks disgorgement plus prejudgment interest, penalties, permanent injunctions, and officer and director bars. The complaint also charges True Crowd and its CEO with violating the crowdfunding rules of the Securities Act and seeks disgorgement also, plus prejudgment interest penalties and permanent injunctions. The SEC, their Office of Investor Education and Advocacy, has issued an investor bulletin on crowdfunding and investor alerts on the red flags of investment fraud. And this information is available at investor.gov. Um, I do not have a post uh, this time on Compliance Kitchen, but if you guys want to look at the press release and the related information and also get to the investor button, this is uh, available on scc.gov and it's a September 20th, 2021 release.